What is going on, right Today we are back with a brand new 2-in-1 WWE Elite action figure review. And it's a very exciting one because we have two of the figures of WWE Elite TMNT crossover Target exclusive series number 1 with Roman Reigns as Shredder and Kofi Kingston as Michelangelo. And I don't have Xavier Woods. I can't find him. I, I've struggled to find this set in the wild. But having the Roman Reigns figure finally in hand, I figured let's go ahead and knock this review out and we could throw Xavier Woods in there somewhere. Or, you know, if we'd never find him, man, that's bummerific. But we'll, we'll just do our best here, man. But I'm super excited for this. Huge shout out to my man, Figure World JP, for this figure right here, man, because he gifted me this, and I cannot wait to unbox it. This is one of my most anticipated figures of the year. I just think it's so sick and bad, eh? It just looks incredible. And then we have Kofi Kingston over here. He looks immaculate as well. I found him on my own, and uh, they didn't have the rest of the set, so I don't know if they got picked over or what the hell it was. But some of the best parts of this these figures is the packaging, man. Look at this packaging right here. This packaging is immaculate. This is just incredible, man. Look at the little cartoon version version of Shredder Roman. You even have the sewer top right here that says WWE. It even has the front viewing window down in there. You're getting the cheese pizza like falling over and melting over. You have the Nickelodeon logos, Roman Reigns, TMNT, WWE. It is just a crazy figure. You even have Roman Reigns Shredder on the side, even the TMNT. Like, it's unbelievable. Then you have this great artwork on the back featuring the Casey Jones, Cody Rhodes. You got Rollins, Kofi, Xavier, and Rey Mysterio here. It's just, and I'm not even a big, I say this a lot, I'm not even a big TMNT guy. I'm really not. I really do not like the Ninja Turtles that much. I enjoy the 03 versions of the Turtles. I watched the movies growing up and enjoyed them then. But I'm not one of these guys that's out here with a crazy turtle collection or just is losing my mind over the Turtles. I enjoyed them and I had my moment of liking them and I do like them and I'm getting the 03 Turtles from Super 7. But those are the only Turtles I need. I don't need any other representation of Turtles. But these right here are incredible. They just look absolutely fantastic. I think the packaging is crazy and they're just so freaking cool. So we're going to get into it today, man. I, I really am looking forward to the rest of the figures in the set, but today I couldn't wait any longer. I had to review this Roman Reigns Shredder. So with all that being said, man, let's crack this figure out. Find out what they're all about. Again, they are Target exclusive, so hit up your targets. You can probably get them on the aftermarket as well, but I'm ready to crack these figures out of the packaging. So let's shut the hell up and do so and get Roman and Kofi Kingston or Shredder and Michelangelo out of the packaging. No shish. I already recorded this part. Why am I doing another one? What an absolute clown. All right, well, let's get him out of the packaging. So here's our Roman Reigns Shredder and Michelangelo Kofi Kingston out of the packaging. And I gotta say, I really do wish I had the Xavier Woods, but I couldn't wait any longer. I had to get these guys out of the packaging, find out what they're all about, man. I am very over the moon about this set in general just because I think they're so detailed and I think they put a lot of effort into these, which I can always appreciate. And you guys know as well as I do on the channel in action figure surgery, throughout my collection, I have done a lot of these fantasy gears. I like to customize. I like to put parts together and mix up attires and make out my own fantasy fantasy gears that I can create from my head or, you know, just being creative in my own mind. So I think that things like this are really fun and I, I like this a lot and I'm not even a big Ninja Turtles guy, you know? Like if this was Spider-Man or if this was Dragon Ball Z or if this was something like that or one of those other properties that I love and adore, then, it, you know, I'd probably be even more excited. But to be that I'm not even a big TMNT guy, I do like Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. I've been through my phase there. I do like the 03 versions of the Turtles, the mid-2000s versions of the Turtles. And, you know, I've talked about that here on the channel, but at the same time, they were never massive for me. They were never, you know, just the top of the top. I would probably say they were probably, were they in my top 10? Maybe they would be very lower half of the top 10. They may not even be in my top 10, you know what I mean? So there's just a lot of things there, but at the same time, these figures look very sick, but we're going to dive into all the details today, find out what these figures are all about, and see if they are indeed as cool as we think they are. So with that being said, man, let's dive into Roman Reigns accessories, then we'll get into the Shredder Roman itself, and then we will run it back and take a closer look at Michelangelo's Kofi, and of course, the figure is itself. So getting into Roman Reigns accessories, you get it quite a bit. It's almost like, I mean, I guess it's technically like an Ultimate Edition. There's just not a lot of interchangeable head sculpts, right? But I think one of the coolest things you'll see is this Roman Reigns cape with these bladed shoulder pads. Now he is supposed to be Shredder, which is the big villain from TMNT here. And he's got a little tangled up right here. What the hell is going on there? Nonetheless, you have the big Roman Reigns logo on the back, which looks very good. I mean, this is unreal. I, I love this. I think that the texture in there looks great. I think the Roman Reigns logo 
looks great. The cape is made out of the same sort of t-shirt material we've come to know, but then you have these spiked shoulder pads that have this detail in here, these details, the spikes, and the etched outness right there. It is kind of a soft pliable material right here, and it even has the clips on the shoulder so you can snap it onto the deltoids of the shoulders of the Roman Reigns figure, and these just look so good. It's crazy how well executed these figures are, and I just think that this is one of those lines when you just look into the nuts and bolts of it, you're going to be really impressed with all of the details that make it out of here. There's nothing on the inside, but this is such a clever thing that I think they nailed to the utmost degree. I mean, this is just unbelievable. It's so badass. It's, it's, I mean, that is the only word to really describe this. You even have the etched out sort of Batman style deal at the bottom of the cape. It's just unreal. And then you have the waist wrap, which has the Roman Reigns logo on it as well. And it does have Velcro on it and it's made of the same material, but you can, of course, wrap this around and then it'll, you know, clasp in the, in the front right there and you can wrap it around the waist, which is awesome. I just love this. Uh, it's such a cool detail to have this sort of waist wrap in here. And it really ties into the baggy pants of the Roman Reigns and everything, but the logo over it looks great. Just no detail left unturned, it looks like, but I like that you get some cloth goods here to kind of, you know, nothing on this figure is going to hinder the articulation, which is always nice to see. And then on his right side, he does come with a spike blade gauntlet here, which is rubber. I wish that it kind of had a little stiffness to it. That way, you know, it wouldn't just bend if you were to put it up next to, to something, but it's a nice little hand blade here that is so dope. It's like a scythe coming off. It's got some etchings in it, and it goes around the Roman Reigns gauntlet on the side there. And I did have a little bit of difficulty pulling it off because the gauntlets, you know, the red gauntlet is there, so it kind of looks like all one piece, but you can pull it off right there. But the, this has some cool little designs there, and I just think this is so cool. It reminds me of Batman or, you know, the new goblin from, from Spider-Man 3, or, and of course Shredder, but this is just cool. It comes with its own weapon. Another really cool detail is the Shredder mask here with the nice gunmetal gray looking color and then it has the red details. Nice sculpts all around. I think this is brand new. This isn't the Mustafa Ali mask from back in the day or anything like that. It fits over the face of the figure very well and it clips on very nice and you could probably put this on somebody else as well if you wanted to but I like the shape. It has a real evil look to it or a real menacing look. Reminds me of Cooler from DBZ or something. Sub-Zero. Just a really cool mask to cover up the face of the Roman Reigns which I think is nice. And the last little Shredder style accessory that you get with Roman Reigns is going to be this belt loop that is supposed to act as the belt to hold up the waist wrap and it does unclasp in the back right here but it has nice details you have this little blade design on the front and it does match the mask in that it has these little line etchings in it and stuff just a really cool piece that kind of is another added detail bonus that really adds to the overall vibe of the figure just a great addition and another just detail that they didn't have to include but they did and then your traditional Roman Reigns accessories pick up here with the Ulafala I think is what it's called it has the red necklace right there which looks good, the shells and everything, which is something we've seen with quite a few figures now. And what would Roman Reigns be without his gauntlet hand on the right and then his bare hand on the left, but you do get a pair of fists to beat the hell out of people. You have the mic holding hands, again, with the right gauntlet on the right side, and it has the red peg, of course, for the added details, and it's sculpted on padding. And last but not least, we do get the We The Ones hands, which we did see back in Elite 103 that they have continued with, with the gauntlet hand on the right side. So getting into Roman Reigns, we do have a shredder tattoo, if you will, or a scar, whatever you want to say there, of the Roman Reigns logo which I think is very awesome. I think it looks awesome. That, that's such a cool detail right there, how they imprinted it over the eye, and it's so seamless. I mean, it's unreal. You'd think they'd be able to put a beard on there or something, but, you know, maybe if there was some way if they could just make it where the hair would be faded and the beard would be thicker, maybe something like that could be attainable if you're able to do something like that, but I don't know. Maybe that's impossible, but it really does look good. I like it. This is a hair... Uh, I mean, this is essentially the Elite 103 Roman Reigns with accessories and Ultimate Edition boots, uh, ultimately pun intended. But the torso looks good. The shoulder tattoo looks all complete. There's no Roman Reigns logo on the gauntlet, which I guess is because the other gauntlet goes over it. But, you know, it is what it is. I think this looks pretty cool there. And if you guys wanted to see what the you know, what the gauntlet looks like or whatever. And I did want to go ahead and attach the face mask so you guys could see this. So you can, like, put this over the face right here. Hold up now. Hold up. Hold, hold it. Hold it. There is Roman Reigns with the mask on, and that looks so evil. I love it. Looks great for Roman Reigns. I love that. Bit thickums, but you know what? We'll take that. I think that looks pretty good. And then, down here on the gauntlet, if you go down and look at this, you can kind of plop this on, but I've noticed that it's kind of difficult to get on there. Not going to lie to you there, but it will get on there eventually. If you just keep prying and toying with it, you can wrap it around the fist there, but uh, apparently this hole is smaller than the other one, so you got to pop that off and then slide this on, and then keep sliding, keep sliding, and then finally you can put the hand in here, and then boom, goes the dynamite. So there you go. You get the Roman Reigns gauntlet shredder deal there, which is very cool. And then on the other side, it's just a black gauntlet. But then it's just 
pretty much black jogger pants. And then he does have the Ultimate Edition boots, which is a nice detail, and it has the logos. They are a little brighter than the regular Ultimate Edition, but this figure looks like every other Roman Reigns for the most part. I mean, again, Elite 103, Elite 110, Ultimate Edition. All of it is pretty much the same. I mean, look at this guy. Look at all this. It's, it's the exact same pretty much again. I do enjoy the Ultimate, and I love the Elite Romans. They're, I mean, is are they a bit jacked? I wish they would do away with this torso for Roman Reigns. I think they could do maybe the Elite 110 Austin Theory torso would work possibly for him. There's some different torsos they could use, but I like this across the board for Roman Reigns. It's just a really cool Roman with really cool accessories, and I don't think it's 100% must-have, but it's certainly bad A. All right, man, for Kofi Kingston's accessories, you get some cool stuff, and one thing that's cool is it also comes with this nunchuck stand that came with the Knuckle Crunchers Roman Reigns figure, so kind of get a little bit of bleak over right there. Not the exact same, but very similar. It's going to be this stand here that's very cool. You got, like, the Ninja Turtle shell with the WWE logo over it. I will say mine's not exactly even, but, you know what? we'll take it. I think it looks very cool though. You have some nice sculpts going on right there. You could possibly, I think you can remove these. Yeah, you can remove these from the back. So these poured on there. So you could use this as a title stand like I did with my Roman Reigns one. I remember talking about that before, but you can pop this back on right here. I said you could pop this back on right here. And then you have these edges going down the side, which I think looks cool. And then it also comes with a display stand, which you can plug in there. And then it's a nice little deal right there. So that looks pretty sweet. I, I like this accessory a lot. And you know, you do have the nunchucks here and you get two of these. And I'm telling you, man, these little chains right here that are sculpted, or they look like they're almost 3D printed, and I do know that Mattel has a 3D printer in their in their headquarters there to test stuff like this, so I think the factory is making these now, which is very crucial for the future of chains and things that we may see in the future from other characters. But the nunchucked handles and everything look good. I like that they did them in orange, I think. You know, they're not realistic, but you could certainly paint them realistic if you wanted to, but, you know, they're kind of playing into that cartoony, comic-esque factor of the Ninja Turtles and things like that, so I think that looks pretty sweet. But the handles look good, and you do get two of these and they can stay on the stand back here so you know if i wanted to you know put these right here you could kind of place them like that and boom they kind of attach right there which I think the yeah that's pretty dude that's that's freaking awesome I, I, like i like little uh you know what i mean though you can put them in there and i think that these look very sweet so if you wanted to display these, you easily could do so, and you can storm away like that, which I think is really, really cool. Now, outside of that, you do get these headband glasses, which are kind of weird. I, I low-key don't know why they did sunglasses, but I think they're pretty cool nonetheless. You can fit it over the head here of the Kofi Kingston, and then you can plop them on there, and it's kind of, it's sunglasses headband. I don't know why you wouldn't just make a, a regular headband, but I guess, I guess technically they do wear the, the headbands that go over their eyes, but I don't know why they made them sunglasses, I guess is what you could say, but you have the bandana, and you have the bandana around his hair there, which we'll get into when we cover the figure itself, but I don't know, maybe someone can let me know why they're glasses. I guess it's because the equivalent, but why couldn't they just wear the headbands that have the eye holes? I don't know. I'm just, I'm just spitting. And then we have the nice entrance vest that looks like the Ninja Turtles, so it looks like their stomach there, and you even have these hexagon patterns on the shoulders. Now, I think this is the exact same vest mold we saw, or maybe it's not, actually, because you guys remember that they did do a Skeletor vest for the Skeletor attire from the Elite 96 Kofi Kingston. This one has the waistband on there. I don't think this little waist wrap thing was on there unless they just added that in post and then kept the same hexagon patterns there but all the paint detail is cool it's very just very nice color palette i like the shell on the back for the turtle shell you have the hood that's not operational but it doesn't hinder anything which i think is cool it would have been nice to see a t-shirt maybe but i like this a lot i think it's cool and uh, i think it looks great on the figure itself so i'm all about the vest i think it just the color blocking with this figure looks very 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 nice and then for his last deal you do get the hand taped hands or the gloved hands which are in green and then he does have the fingerless gloves sort of look. And it does have green pegs, so it kind of blends in nicely. But you have the mic holding hands. And then you also get the newly sculpted Ricochet Kawhi Leonard style hands with the same exact hand tape or hand glove mold. Alright man, so for Kofi Kingston, his head sculpt is weird. Because it, it's a very, it's just a, I don't know what the hell's going on right here man. It's like the hair sculpt has like a cap on it or something right here. And I'm pretty sure you could remove this entire thing. But it's like sculpted on, but it's brown, but it has like a black fade. But then on the side he's has these hard sideburn looking things. I don't know what's going on back here. I mean, look at this. Is Am I crazy? Like, I don't even... Let me pop this off real quick. Tell me this ain't weird. I mean, how weird is this entire thing? I don't know if it's because they use like a regular head sculpt and then they were like, oh, we need to add something to this headband or whatever. So they like scalped him and then made like a whole new hairpiece and just glued it on there. But 
It also added, like, you notice how he has, like, these weird textures going on on his forehead? I don't know what's going on across his whole head sculpt. It's definitely weird, but I don't know. I do like that they have the little hair wrap on there with the paint and the blonde hair and everything looks cool. It's just a weird thing going on right there. But the rest of the figure, while he is headless, he looks good. It's got the Kofi Kingston torso, which I like. It does have these, these orange bicep bands that I think are cool. And he does have his back tattoos on there, which I think is also cool. They always make them way too dark, though. Wish they were a bit more realistic, but that I digress. You do have the turtle shell on the back. And then he does have these black orange and green paneling and then he does have the pinless legs and he's got the knee pads i they're not knee pads they are kind of they're on the attire itself but i think every other figure besides roman and kofi have knee pads on maybe cody cody may not but i know that seth rollins has some large knee pads and stuff and it looks a bit weird got a little bit of paint chip right there but all the color blocking and stuff looks nice and then the kicks here they're pretty smooth here trying to make that look like a nike swoosh i think they did a good job there but all the color blocking and everything looks really special look at that right there man you're gonna tell me that's not a swoosh they did a good job of making it look like a swoosh while getting away with it. I think that looks pretty good. Great job by Mattel there, but what we're looking at here is pretty much a Elite 96 repaint of Kofi Kingston in Ninja Turtles gear that looks like Michelangelo. I mean, that's what this is, and I think I destroyed my Elite 96 Kofi to make a custom or something, so all I have for comparison today is this fix-up, I think, Elite 60 Kofi, which I did put gold shoes on because I think it looks sick as hell. It's still one of my favorite Kofi fix-ups. I think it's such a fire. I love that Kofi Kingston fix-up, but then we have this sort of top picks here that has the Elite 96 head sculpt on it, which looks a lot better, honestly, in terms of the blonde hair color and then the uh, the face sculpt and the, the hair. It doesn't have that weird hair thing going on. But, you know, in terms of Kofi, he has so many really good action figures, and honestly, I think he deserves an ultimate. I think that an ultimate three-pack of New Day or something like a celebration set would be cool or something like that would be really fire, but I don't know when that would be. We'll have to wait on that, I guess. But the Kofi Kingston figure is very sweet, and I enjoy the Roman and the Kofi together. Very awesome figures overall, and I like them a lot, so... The Kofi is pretty sick. But I think that about wraps up our 2-in-1 TMNT WWE Elite Crossover Shredder Roman Reigns and Michelangelo Kofi Kingston WWE Action Figure Review. And in short, these figures are absolutely terrible. I'm just kidding, man. These are pretty damn fire. Not gonna lie to you. These are pretty cool, man. I like these. I like these a lot. I think that... Did, like, do you need them? No. I don't think you need them. I think if you're a big TMNT and WWE fan, then sure. Why, would, why wouldn't you want them? I, I mean, I don't think they're necessarily necessary for any collection, but I think that if if you enjoy action figures and you enjoy the novelty of it and the really fun creative aspect of it then hell yeah and I think you can make some really fun customs out of these I love the innovations with the them being able to print and make that chain on the nunchucks is immaculate that is actually fantastic that they're able to do that because in the future I think we could see some chains and things like that sculpted that way and printed that way from Mattel for John Cena and The Rock and whoever the hell else wears a chain or maybe an accessory in the future for a cowbell or something like that, like we saw with Cody Rhodes in the Defining Moments. I'm telling you, man, little things like that people overlook. People overlook stuff like that. I'm telling you, this is going to lead to some pretty big innovations. I love the shoulder pad sculpting. They just had a lot of fun with this, and you can really tell that the team had a lot of fun with this, that everybody just kind of let them flex their creative muscle, and nobody... It looks like whoever owns the, the TMNT model or whatever, like Nickelodeon, whoever the hell the owner is, I don't know who owns TMNT or whatever, but they really, really just let them cook. They, they let the Mattel team cook here and they nailed it. I love the packaging. I love the figures. I love everything about it. They absolutely crushed it. And I, I think they crushed it while also maintaining that you don't need these figures. You don't need these figures, but damn, they are cool. You know what I mean? And I think, I mean, I guess you could say that about any action figure because you don't need any action figure. But in terms of the collecting community, you don't need it, but damn, it's pretty freaking sweet. You know what I mean? So I think these are, these are awesome. I had a lot of fun with these. And outside, I mean, like, I really have no complaints. Like, you know, it's not... Oh, this is inaccurate to the to the source material or whatever. But in terms of just making cool action figures, outside of them, you know, continuing with Kofi Kingston having no shin cut and this John Cena shoe mold, which has since been retired, I think these are an A+, and I think they're pretty sweet. So, if you guys see these, I think they're awesome, but, you know, it's up to you. You make the decision. This Roman Reigns is super bad A, and I think just his accessories alone puts him up there in the top 10 elites of the year. I know it's a novelty. I don't care. As an action figure, as an elite, this guy's going to be competing with the best of them, and we'll We'll see when I get to my top 25 best top 10 whatever the hell it is this guy's gonna be in the top 25 I don't know how you leave him off he's just got too many cool things going on with him and I mean hell the whole the whole set it's series one and series two are just unbelievable but I can't wait to find the Xavier Woods and the rest of the sets from series two Cody Seth Ray all should be fun and we're gonna get extra copies for extra fix-ups and cool stuff man 
should be awesome. But I'm getting the hell out, man. I hope you guys did enjoy. Let me know all of your thoughts down in the comment section below, but I'm getting the hell out. I hope you guys did enjoy. Again, leave me all your thoughts on this set down below. Also, be sure to click the link in the description below to save our Whatnot stream coming up on Sunday. We'll have a full commercial style deal kind of coming through the week and leading up to that stream so that you can look forward to. But I'm getting the hell out, man. Huge shout out to our Patreon members. Thank you guys so very much for your continued support as always. You guys are unbelievable and I appreciate each and every one of you guys for all of your support. But I'll see you guys next time. Have a blessed one and I'll catch you guys later. <laughs>